All right, so tragically, Internet Explorer is being discontinued. So I thought we'd take a look at it one last time, see if you can actually use it in the year 2023, and so far it's not looking good. Google recommends using Chrome. Built for Windows, easily search on Google with a fast, secure browser. No thank you. Uh, and it, it doesn't work. Honestly, I thought it would work. Please update your browser. It's begging me to. Let's go to um, Microsoft.com. It really wants me to uh, switch browsers. I'm kind of at a loss of what to do. Uh, here, does Steam work? It does. Um, again, pictures are missing. What could we do? Uh, Walmart.com. Ugh, it's also not looking good. So last time I used Internet Explorer, like, just for fun, not even, like, actually using it, most stuff worked. Uh, it's gotten a lot worse since then. Now let's go to Amazon. Okay, this is actually, like, normal, so they're kind of supporting Internet Explorer, it, it seems. Windows com computer. Yeah, it's, it's working. I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know if it comes across in video, but it's, like, really slow to scroll. Let's go to GOG.com. Nope. I, I searched that in Amazon on accident. Okay, this is another broken website. No, no pictures. Uh, the only website that just straight up wouldn't let us use it is YouTube. What's another one? Oh, let's go to Net Netflix. Okay, yeah, we, we just can't, you can't use Netflix. Uh, Disney, Disney Plus. Let's see if that'll work. No, I, I just want to use Disney Plus. Believe it or not, I want to use Disney Plus. Let's just go back to Google. I'm at a loss of what we can even use. So, we might have to go back in time a little bit. Alright, here's a pretty cool website, The Old Net. Um, it basically lets you see, like, any website ever on, like, an old computer. It's compatible with an old computer. Basically, you can hook, like, a Windows 95 computers up, and you can go on an old website. It's like a time machine. It is a time machine, basically. No, shut up. I definitely don't miss those little bars that appear at the bottom of Internet Explorer, where it's like, do you want to download this file? It's like, chances are if I click download, I wanted the file. All right, here we go. We're on, um, idsoftware.com. It's pretty bland. I don't miss the under construction banners either. Let's go to whatever Doom site this is. Oh my god. This is so 90s. Um, okay, everything on the page is frozen. Okay, let's just continue like nothing happened. What? What happened? Oh, oh, look at that gif. That's great. That's great. Let's, uh, let's go to GeoCities. Let's go see some crusty old websites in this crusty old website. <laughs> News of the day, October 22nd, 1996. Introducing Geo Plus. See, the whole, like, blank plus thing is old. You know, Disney Plus was not the first to do it, believe it or not. Is modern society getting you down? 1996 GeoCities? Yes, it is getting me down. Discover a 3D world. Well, I want to discover a 3D world. I guess we can't discover a 3D world today. Let's go to some uh, neighborhoods. I've never used GeoCities, so I have no idea what's going on. Okay, this looks kind of broken. He's wild, crazy, and maybe a little insane. It's Chris Farley. This is very 1996. All right, I'm feeling a little hungry. Let's say we uh we order some food. Um, www.pizzahut.com. All right. Oh, what is what is going on? We're in the year 2002 now, by the way. <laughs> is this just how Pizza Hut looked in 2002? What am I looking at? <laughs> what is this? Jeep. <laughs> that is the uh, the most photorealistic Jeep I've ever seen. Uh, 
I say we do like a couple more websites. What's a very 90s thing? Yeah, here we go. This is in the midst of the Duke Nukem Forever thing. They're, uh, they're just straight up trying to hire somebody to work on the game. Halloween. Let's take a look at this. That is the coolest Duke Nukem pumpkin I have ever seen. Let's take a look at Steam in 2004. Oh, see, look, they had different tiers of games even back in 2004. I guess you could preload Half-Life 2, Matt? The answer to can you use Internet Explorer 11 in 2023 is no. And if you really want to, you have a couple months to do so before I think it's gone forever. To get it on Windows 11, you actually have to jump through some hoops, so uh, look that up, I guess. It's not worth it.